I'm gonna add that in here. And by the way, what I'm doing is I'm pressing Control X and Control V. That cuts and paste things, um, just to make things go a lot, lot quicker. I'm pressing Control C in my notepad so I don't delete it. Um, and Control V, Control X, Control V. Leaving that here. Now here's the to visit the Tesla Secret Official website. Click here. I want to make this a link, so I'm going to go back, grab that link text we did. It's actually amazing to me that Skudu hasn't uh, <laughs> hasn't created a YSIG editor for this. Um, and we're going to put that here as what we want our link text. Now you can also make your link text bold if you want. I'm going to do that since this is the last one here. Basically the way HTML works, by the way, you don't have to learn HTML to do this stuff, but B, anything that's in like a, a carrot like this is the opening tag, and then you have a closing tag. It's like forward slash B. So opening is B, closing is forward slash B. It's the same thing here. A is this opening tag for the link, and then you have the closing A tag. All HTML tags close like that. <clears throat> okay, click on save. I'm going to delete this last uh, text module. Looks like I messed up on my link here. Oh, yeah, make sure there's no spaces. Uh, there we go. All right, so uh, I have, and let's go ahead and make that Tesla secret link up here bold. Put a B at the beginning of it. And when you start out, you know, this can seem a little tedious, but once you uh, do it a couple times, it really is just second nature. And you're, uh, there we go, I have my bold text. And if I want to go through here and I want to bold anything else, I can do that. Nikola Tesla Secret Generator. Let's go ahead and bold that keyword term. And that looks good. And Tesla, Tesla secret plans was another keyword of ours. So we go ahead and bold that one. That one's bold. Click here to visit our website. So that looks pretty good. Now if we want an image, <clears throat> like I said, you normally wouldn't do this, but you can on the vendor on the vendor website of the Tesla secret right here see this well that's not actually a single image but let's just type in uh, you can go to Google type in Tesla secret um, and you click on uh, you can't see that let me uh, there we go click on the images button and see if you can find a picture of this guy uh, I know for a fact this is okay to grab this guy's picture because it's everywhere. The, the vendor is not going to care if you use a picture. You can ask them if you want. Um, but this is a picture that I don't think is it's so old. No one owns rights to it. So let's see if we can find one. Ah, okay. Here's one here. So let's uh, take a look at that. I'll save that image to my desktop. And I can go back here, oops, into Squidoo, edit. I can go down here for a lens photo now. And uh, Nikola Tesla, save it. And it should, uh, oh, I didn't click on upload photo. Sorry, you got to click on upload photo. Like I said, it's been a little while since I have used Squidoo. Just want to show you, I will show you uh, one of my sites uh, real quick after this is done. Um, a Squidoo lens of mine that's that's old, that did really well for me, like an average of $50 to $100 a month. I'll show you that in a second. But anyway, the Nikola Tesla Secret Review. I'm an article here. Things are bolded. I got links. Um, I have a link down here. Might want to put another link somewhere in the middle. Now there's all these other different kinds of modules you can add. Okay, these are uh, totally up to you. If you click on browse all modules, there are some cool ones that you that I remember. 
uh, most popular. There's a big, big button thing that's really cool. Text with big picture. Uh, do, 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 do. And again, you just have to play with these um, categories, writing, selling stuff. Most popular. Oh, the big arrow. Okay, yeah. Click on the big arrow. We'll add that one. And what's really cool about these is you can uh, you can move move these modules around. Where do you do that? That's like I said, it's been a while. Okay, big arrow. Yeah. I usually, guys, I usually create my own websites um, using WordPress and stuff. So I'm just I'm going back to what I used to do when I was starting out. And so this might. Uh, you know, it's not that I don't know what I'm doing here. It's just I don't. You haven't used Squidoo. Lots changed in Squidoo for a while. All right, so the Big Arrow link. Um, so you can put your link in here. This is actually really cool. What's the URL you want to promote? So again, you take your uh, your affiliate link and you post that in there, and you put your your link name. So the Tesla secret. Click here for a Tesla secret. So you can make Squidoo lens kind of fun. That's what I like about Squidoo. Um, click here for a Tesla secret. So that's like, uh, you know, kind of a sneaky way of getting people to head over the vendor website. There's all kinds of neat things you can do. Um, maybe I'll move this one actually to the top and apply it. <clears throat> so. Anyway, the Squidoo Lens looks pretty good. There's all kinds of things you can do with it, but once you're done, uh, you can go ahead and click on the big publish button up here at the top. Your account has not been verified, so I'm going to my email here and click on my verification link. And I should be okay right now. Like I said, it has been a while. Let me go back to my old lens and click click refresh here and now click on publish congratulations okay so you got to make sure you verify your account and uh, Squidoo is <laughs> lots of things going on in Squidoo that's for sure alrighty so if I go to my dashboard now I can look at uh, my lens, I can click on it and see what it looks like. And this is what it looks like to the end user. So Nikola Tesla Secret Review and you have your links here. People can come, they're going to read your lens and uh, have an opportunity to click on your affiliate link and for you to make a sale off that. So that's basically how you do it on Squidoo. Uh, again, you could do this on blogger.com. There's a lot of them, wet paint, hub pages. There's a lot of really uh, cool places that you can paste your product review. So, um, and just to show you here at the top, um, this is your, it'll show you your actual um, lens URL. So you're gonna wanna copy that and use that for when we start promoting it. And I apologize, guy, I'm kinda, uh, guys, I'm kinda on the fly creating this video today. Uh, I will answer any questions you have. That's basically the nuts and bolts of it. The biggest part of this, it doesn't matter which one of these Web 2.0 properties you use or if you use blogger.com. What matters is the back, making sure you did the right keyword research, wrote, wrote a good review, and start building backlinks to it. So that's what we're going to be doing in the video next week. And uh, I will see you guys then. If you want to check out my blog at profitactivity.com, there's a link in the description. I actually installed a new blog theme called the Thesis Theme that I think is really cool. So go ahead and check that out, and I'll see you guys next time.